The Fundamental Theorem of Calculus This section shows how to find the derivative of a function defined by an integral and how this is related to the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. Suppose that we take the derivative of g of x, which equals the integral from a to x of f of t. The derivative of g of x is equal to the derivative of the integral from a to x of f of t. This represents the rate at which the area is changing with respect to x. Note that the rate at which the area is changing with respect to x also depends on the height of the function, that is, the value of f of x. We have established the following result known as the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. The derivative of the integral from a to x of f of t is equal to f of x. One major interpretation of the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus is that an antiderivative of a continuous function f of x is given by capital F of x equals the integral from a to x of f of t. The fundamental theorem of calculus asserts that integration and differentiation are inverses of each other. Example 1. Find the first derivative of the function g defined by g of x equals the integral from 0 to x of e to the negative t squared. Here the lower limit of integration is a constant and the upper limit is x. By the fundamental theorem of calculus we have that g of x equals e to the negative x squared. Example 2. Find the first derivative of the function h defined by h of x equals the integral from x squared to x cubed of e to the negative t squared. We cannot apply the fundamental theorem of calculus right away. We first rewrite the function as h of x equals the integral from x squared to 0 e to the negative t squared, plus the integral from 0 to x cubed, e to the negative t squared. This equals negative g of x squared plus g of x cubed. Now, by the chain rule, we have that h prime of x equals negative 2x g prime of x squared plus 3x squared g prime of x cubed, which equals negative 2x e to the negative x to the fourth plus 3x squared e to the negative x to the sixth. 